Hugo Tai, what is in your hand? You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call us your own. Good morning. God has chosen to call us his own. God has chosen to call you his own. Father, we thank you. Authority in heaven will bless you. This is another day that you have made. We we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I pray today, bless every life that is watching me. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray for everyone watching me. Your today shall be great. Your tomorrow shall be bright. And all will be well with us. In Jesus Christ's wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, once again, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for staying with us. You are amazing in the name of Jesus. Yesterday, we looked briefly into uh, the seven types of people God is actually interested in. Like we said, we, you can watch the video, like why it seems that God is interested in some people. And we gave some biblical evidence. We mentioned the three types of people. And I promise we're going to look into the four other types of people today. God bless you as you listen in the name of Jesus. Number four, God is interested in the humble. Oh, shakala dada. He's interested in humble people. James chapter 4 verse 6. The Bible says, He giveth grace to the humble. He giveth grace to the humble. If you are humble, God is so much interested in you. No wonder the Bible says, Jesus Christ was humbled till death. And that is why God gave him a name that is above every other name. And that is why at the name of Jesus, humility is what makes the name of Jesus to be able to conquer devil. Oh, there is something coming upon you as you begin to humble your heart before God. There is an anointing coming upon you as you begin to submit to the will of God. There is an anointing coming upon you as you begin to bow to receive the touch from the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. Humility, don't forget. And number five, God is interested in true worshippers, true worshippers. John chapter 4 verse 23, the Bible says, but the hour cometh and now is that the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such. You can imagine even God is seeking for true worshippers. God is actually interested in them. He's seeking for them because he's interested in them. So if you want to be dear to God's heart, you need to worship him in truth and in spirit. True worship from the heart, genuine worship. Number, um, that's number five. Then number six, God is actually interested in the soul winner. You can be dear to God's heart by winning soul. John chapter 15 verse 16. It says, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give to you. God always likes to give his to soul when I say whatsoever the ask. That is so powerful. So if you want to really capture God's heart, bring more souls to the fold. Find a way to, to spread the love of God. Find a way to tell people about the good news. And the Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus. And the number seven to one is service. Service. The Bible says in Psalm 89 verse 20, it said, I have found David my servant with my only oil. I have anointed him. Oh, that means there is a searching. That means God is looking for people that will serve him. It could be in your local assembly, in your church. It can even be an usher. You might just be like part of the people that will be welcoming people, um, giving glory to the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. Just find a way. It can even be like you are contributing to the things of God. It can even be you are encouraging some people. You can even use your money to support and the Lord will give you the grace in the name of Jesus. These are the biblical evidence. May you receive the grace to remain humble before God. Receive the grace to bring souls to the kingdom of God. And receive the grace to worship God in spirit and in truth. Brethren, God bless you. Thank you for watching. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you peace. Are you watching? You are still living in sin. You want to say yes, Lord? Please do say this prayer time. Say, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. 
Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. We say that prayer, genuine congratulations, and I'm born again, Christian. I want you to continue to love the Lord, continue to follow Him, continue to do His will, and it shall be well with you. Um, you know what? I love you so much, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.